Hello my lovely Geminis, welcome to your May 2018 reading. I hope that this reading finds you well and um, having gone through April and everything that that's held for you. So let's have a look at um, what's coming up for you in May. This is a general reading Geminis, this is a general reading. It's going to resonate with some of you, some of it's going to resonate with some of you, maybe all of it will resonate with some of you. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign um, because they also uh, contain information for you in moving forward and some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me that's going to be very specific to you then you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading uh, with me and we can connect. I really do enjoy connecting with my subscribers. I'd like to thank you all for subscribing and liking my um, or subscribing to my channel and liking my Facebook page as well uh, and for all of those people that have um, had a reading with me the connection's been absolutely fabulous and I really do enjoy that and I enjoy reading your comments as well so keep leaving those so I can uh, see what you're thinking and, and um, how this is resonating with you. That would be really lovely. So let's have a look at what's ahead here for you in May. And we're going to start really with, uh, you know, I'm going to start with what's <clears throat> just coming out of your energy. And of course it's a general reading and it depends on the planets that you have in your sign as well as to when these things will occur. So they're going to be occurring at different, different stages for the different um, Geminis. But let's have a look at um, what's going on. So in the, in the recent past, this was actually upside down. Um, and I'm, I really read the energies of it. And, you know, when I first saw that, you know, the, it's a beautiful card absolutely gorgeous. It's in the recent past and I feel like some of you Geminis are really having to assess or reassess a relationship, a love relationship, a relationship with a close member of the family or a close friend. It could also be that. It's anyone that you have a love connection with. But I do get that some of you are going to um, review it. For some of you, it's been a disappointment. This relationship has been a disappointment and it's almost like you've come to the realisation. You've come to that realisation and you are aware that it's now time to move on. It's a real spilling out of emotions. It's a spilling out of emotions. It's a, a situation that's been very uh, draining for you, emotionally draining. Um, you know, you keep putting putting in and putting in, filling up that cup with emotion and it just gets wasted, it gets poured out and it's very, very exhausting. So it's coming to the realisation that this is just not working. The more you give, the more it, this person seems to be taking and the more that it's, it's draining you of your life force, it's draining you of your energy. Of course, it's not for all Geminis. This is for some Geminis um, that this situation is going to be really... Um, really fitting it's really just something that uh, is has been in the past where and and it's it, you've reviewed it it's time to review it and it's just and coming to the realization that it's just not working for you it's not giving you not providing for you what it is you're seeking and and coming to that understanding coming to that understanding um, of that for some of you it's a family member for some of you it's a close friend um, you know it's different for, for different ones of you, uh, different uh, Geminis. But I feel like all Geminis have gone through some sort of an emotional re-evaluation, an emotional reinventing of what you're seeking and what you are after, where you're headed and what you're wanting, what your requirements are. If you are in a relationship, it could be that you are communicating that and keeping your partner moving with you so that you are moving uh, together, you are moving uh, onward and upward to, and, and the relationship becomes strengthened by the communication, by the um, honesty. So for some of you, it's that. It's a review of let's review this relationship, let's review what's going on um, and let's, let's 
uh, be honest about this and let's move on. Let's let's take it to the next level. Let's progress. So for some of you, it's that. But for all of you, it's a review of your emotional situation, your emotional, your emotions. Could be your emotions. For some of you, you've felt um, out of balance. You felt lost. You felt, where am I going? What am I doing? On an emotion, and it's it's impacted on your emotions. And so it's about reviewing that for some of you, um, and really making those changes and decisions that uh, is going to suit you. So that's all. For some of you, already happened. For some of you, it's happening as we speak, and for some of you, you will find that it will happen a little bit later on. But it's all—it's going to—it's going to be happening. Okay, there's going to be a review. For some of you, it's quite big. For some of you, it's not so big. So it just depends on what sort of a Gemini you are and where you are at in this journey, as well. So this is representing you. And in this representation of you, it's it's having to make, you know, and so it, it sort of follows through from this, doesn't it? Having to make those choices, having to make those decisions and having a hard time doing it. It's always hard to sever ties emotion when emotions are involved. Uh, you know, often when you're going through an emotional uh, situation, your friends can be quite... Um, quite practical and oh look you know you don't put up with it you just leave you just do because they're not in emotionally invested when we are emotionally invested in someone or a situation it is very very hard to see clearly and make a, a decision the right decision and right choice and we make those decisions and choices when we are ready when there's an emotional investment when your emotions are in involved and that's what's happening here it's about having to make choices having to make decisions uh, what i'm hearing for you is be kind to yourself be gentle do it when you're ready you know um, other people will have opinions but they're not emotionally invested in a situation so um, for some of you it's it's an emotional situation about changing jobs, leaving a job, leaving a situation. Some of you are leaving a marriage, leaving a relationship, uh, leaving um, a, a situation where you've invested your emotions, uh, having enough of that and pulling away from it. So um, do that when you're ready and be gentle. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. You're going to, this is crossing you. So it's, it's about really going within, shed, shining a light within and really exploring the depths of why do you find yourself in this situation? What has attracted this situation to you? What lessons are you learning from this? So really go in and, and do what we call the shadow work. You know, look at what it is that you're needing to learn from this situation and understand that when we are in a situation like that where we're <clears throat> having to, you know, for some of you it's about... Um, speaking to your partner about things that you mean a lot to you and you've never had the courage to express it and 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 confront it so it's about that it's not that the relationship is going to you know crumble but it's about really um, looking at what you need from this relationship what you need from this and um, speaking your mind you know really exploring what why can't why do you not like confrontation why not why don't you speak about what your needs are is it an issue with self-worth is it you know what what issue is it and you know they're going to be different things for different people so for some people it's going to be really digging deep really looking at old habits and behaviors and where they stem from and and moving on from them so here's an opportunity for you to learn here's an opportunity for you to move on which is you know a really good place to be because when we move on it always gets better. You always move to a better place because you're a wiser person. There's knowledge that you've learned. There's wisdom that you've gained. There's an understanding that we survive. And so we can move on. We can move on. And um, 
find yourself in you always move on to better better things it's just that's just the law of the universe you just always move on to better things so uh, embrace that change you have this opportunity to really look at yourself really dig deep really look at where the roots of of behaviors are attachments are uh, and have a look at those and and work with them you know work with them because what the energy that's coming in around you and you will and you will you'll be victorious you will you will be fine you will find that strength you know you've got the queen of wands and it's about um real strength you know it's about finding that that strength and that passion and that fire and and you're just going it's a really it's an action sort of energy you're going to really be compelled to look at this to do do this to deal with these things to move this on um you're going to have this driving force around you is what i'm hearing here you know and um and it's going to be good you know it's this is it's quite heavy you know there's a lot happening here there's a lot happening here and you can choose to look at it or you can choose to ignore it you know that's totally up to you that's free will but the you're going to have a hard time ignoring it because i feel like it's stuff that needs to be sorted out uh, in order to move forward, in order to move forward. So um, that queen is quite strong, quite a strong woman, quite a strong person. For some of you, that that queen of wands is going to be someone that is in around you, someone that is there for support, could be a, a parent, uh, a friend, uh, someone that you work with, a counsellor, a professional, there's somebody there that is, is really going to be the rock for you in this time of, of having to make these decisions and really exploring your um, your patterns of behavior and why certain things keep happening and once you've done that you know what what it leads to well the lovers you know this is uh, it's a month where you know keep a, keep an eye out go out um, go out socialize um, explore uh, meeting people meeting new people expanding your f circle of friendships because there are opportunities there to be meeting um, a loved one a soul connection um, a really strong attraction a really strong connection with someone so that, that that is there for you once you do this work once you find this strength uh, once you clear out the old there's there's new love there there is new love there there's new connection, um, new opportunity. If you're in a relationship, I feel like for you, it's about uh, strengthening that relationship because of this clearing of the air, this this honesty, this um, opportunity to really explore patterns of behaviour. It strengthens you as a couple. It it uh, takes your relationship to the next level. Um, it brings on a new appreciation of each other which is really lovely um gemini's it's really a nice it's a nice month i mean it sounds harrowing but it's not it's a great opportunity it's a lovely lovely month it's about maintaining the faith maintaining the faith that that things are where they should be this is you're exactly where you need to be you're exactly where you need to be at this point in time to to and having and you have the opportunity to discard things that are no longer serving you, patterns of behavior that are no longer serving you, um, images or ideas of who you are according to other people that no longer serves you, um, how you are going to live your life. It's going to be different. It's going to be being true to yourself really looking at what you want and and stay strong have faith that that things are go they just progress they get better they get better you know here you've got another queen this is the the outcome of what's going to happen here this is the queen it's about being intuitive it's about being nurturing nurturing of the self it's about being nurturing having integrity loving have lo lots and lots of love so there's it's going to be an emotional month for you too um this will represent some of you Geminis you're going to be in touch with your emotions this month um, for some of you it represents a male or female 
water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that is there to support you, that is there that to give you words of wisdom, to give you guidance without being, you know, I mean, the, the, the cups is always a gentler sort of sign. It's about going with the flow. It's about being gentle. It's not in your face and pushing you and, and saying, well, you, this is the decision you have to make. I don't know why you can't make it. This is a gentle, nurturing, uh, having showing empathy for your situation. So it's someone there that is a great support to you. Uh, if they're not a water sign, they have those qualities of uh, water sign or maybe water sign in their, in their chart. Um, if it's you, for some of you, this is you. This is really getting in touch with your emotions. This is getting t in touch with um, this softer side of you, this intuitive side of you, um, which is really lovely. So it's sort of an emotional month. It's a water month. It's an emotional month. And having said that here, you've also got the Nine of Cups. So it is an emotional month. But with this, it's about... Everything that, you know, you fill your cups up with whatever it is you want, with the abundance that you want, with the love that you want, with the, um, the you know, love relationship that you want, with the family relationships that you want, having a family home, you know, and everything that, that comes with that. So it's about creating what your dreams are, what you've always wanted on an emotional level. You know, and I'm already feeling by the end of May, the energy's just becoming softer where in the beginning it was, let's look at this, let's, you know, really do this work. And then it just sort of softens once you have faith in the process, once you release resistance, go with the flow of what's happening and bring in those changes. And you don't have to force it. You know, you bring in the changes that at the, at the level and at the stage that you're at. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's not a competition. Everyone's at their own level. There's no judgment. So, you know, whatever is good for you. And what that does is it brings um, new opportunities. There's a lot that you're going to learn about yourself in May. You're going to learn about things that you didn't really, you were not aware of. So there's things that you learn about yourself in May, uh, which allows you to go to improve yourself, to bring in new opportunities, better opportunities, uh, better people around you. Um, it, it's, it just gets better. It just gets better for you so that there is all of that um, newness coming in, all that newness coming in around you. Um, and, you know, the final outcome, you know, you've got the King of Swords and the King of Swords is strength. It's really thinking about things. It's it's thought, it's knowledge, it's learning, it's writing, it's um, really clarifying what it is, what direction you want to move in, what you want to do. For some of you, this is actually someone that you're going to meet uh, that has these qualities of strength and uh, integrity and uh, a thinker. You know, it, 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 for some of you, it's this person that you're going to meet by the end of May by the end of May um, and for some of you they're the qualities that you you'll feel that you'll feel that yourself this can be male or female uh, remember okay um, it's got that real um, destiny feel about it you know this real meant to be um, meeting so go out and have a good time, you know, um, really explore what is being shown to you, what is being given to you. Great reading, Geminis. I think you could be pleased with this. Uh, you know, there's lots of change coming, change afoot. I'm going to take an Oracle of Visions card out for you and see what is going on here with you. Love these cards, they're just beautiful. The, the images are fantastic. So, is it going to give me one? Let's have a look. Oh, there you are. It is. That's lovely. I need my glasses so I can really look at the detail because there's a lot of detail in this. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Try and get the 
<clears throat> the shine off it. There we go. That's absolutely beautiful. You know, you've got um, temptation. You've got the apple. You know, here's here's the apple, the snake. This is temptation. This is temptation that's around you. Um, it's you know, um, the dancing monkey. Don't dance to other people's tune. Don't dance to other people's tune this month. You know, be mindful of temptations. The choices and decisions you're making are they? Are you making them for the right reasons? Are you making them for you? Are they going to get, take you to a better place? Is it good for you? Um, you know, really think about, you've got the thinker, this is action packed, isn't it? You've got the thinker up here. Really, I've cut my finger. You've got the thinker up here. Really think about um, where you're headed, what you're doing, what you want, what you're clearing out, what you're bringing in. That's deep thinking. That's the deep thinking that came up here with these cards. You know, that's the deep thinking that's come up with these cards going within, really contemplating, really, you know, she's sitting there and she's she's got no clothes on, she's just got a, a cloth thrown over her and that is really, uh, there's nowhere to hide, there's nowhere to hide, everything is exposed, everything's out in the open, there's nowhere to hide, you really need honesty because it's all there, it's all being shown to you. Um, you know, the curtains are, are not drawn, they're open so that the 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 moon's coming in, you know, the, the, the night light's coming in. There's nowhere to hide. You can't close yourself off. It's something that you need to look at. That's a really uh, full card, isn't it? I mean, it's very, very telling as to where you are at this month. So I hope that this has been really helpful for you, Geminis. Um, I wish you many blessings and happy journey through May. Um, it's got some very, very good outcomes and don't forget that it's always about doing what is best for you um, because that's, it's your journey. It's about you being always being mindful, though, of the loved ones and people that are around you, always. Many blessings, happy May, and I'll see you mid-month.